guys, I am Lanikia, and you are watching um, What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Bold and the Beautiful edition. Today is Wednesday, May the 18th, 2022. Um, happy hump day. All right, y'all, let's get right into this. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a solid 7. It wasn't much. Um, just really a rehash of what went on yesterday and maybe adding a person. Yeah, they literally added one person. <laughs> they need to stop. Like, I know this is a 30-minute soap, but... Y'all have other actors, like, that you can add on to this soap. You know what I mean? There, there are other people that y'all can add in. And at least, that, like, uh, can we get one one or two days out of the week where maybe you don't show Ridge and Steffi and Brooke and all them? You show other people? I, I'm just saying. But, I, I mean, I enjoy them. But I'm just saying, like, there are other people on the soap that I would like to see act. Okay, so let's get going. So Brooke says, um, what does it mean? Are you coming home now to Ridge? Because, um, you know, they're like, now that they know Sheila wasn't, Sheila was the cause of her drinking. She wants him at home. Listen, Brooke get on my nerves, but that's understandable. <laughs> I understand what she's saying. But I'm also like, but Brooke, Sheila made you drink it all that, but she didn't make you take Deacon's side when Ridge and Deacon got into their fight. And that's Deacon, I mean, Ridge's real problem is that you took his side. And Ridge pretty much says that. He says, listen, I understand, you know, you always said there was a trigger and Sheila was that trigger for you. But at the end of the day, it was Deacon, you, 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 you went with Deacon. He says, how, how, how long are we going to do this cycle? <laughs> and I said, yes, talk to her. Talk to yourself. <laughs> and she was like, how long are we going to do this cycle where we just hurt each other? We make up. We're going good. We hurt each other. We make up. We're going good. We hurt each other. We make up. I'm like, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore with y'all. And he says, me either. Because I'm, I'm I, he was like, Taylor is a good woman. And y'all, I'm sorry, I'm wrapping them up. He was like, Taylor is a good woman. He said, I love you, but Taylor is a good woman as well. And Taylor has not been pressuring Ridge, truth be told. Now, Ridge is ma a married man. um, And he's been over there with Taylor. But she's made it very clear to him that, you know, yes, she loves him. Yes, she wants to be with him. But he was confused. He didn't know exactly what he wanted. And he needed time to sort through his feelings. So, you know, most of the advancement that has he has done with Taylor has been bridged towards Taylor. And, yeah, I mean, she still loves him. So, of course, she like, if he gives her some crumbs, because that's what I feel he's doing. If he gives her some crumbs, she's going to take it. And so then we see where Brooke is just like, Ridge, I love you, and I feel like we can work through this. Let's work through this. And he just tells her, like, but I, I, I. Ridge told Taylor what Chris Brown told Brianna and Carucci Trent. Tran that time, Chan, is it Tran? Karuchi that time, when he was like, I'm in love with two women. That's what Ridge told Taylor. I'm in love with two women. If I go with you, I hurt Taylor. If I go with Taylor, I hurt you. Who am I supposed to choose? I said, man, you're supposed to choose your wife. <laughs> That's who you're supposed to choose. You're supposed to choose your wife. What are you talking about? Either you want to be with your wife or you don't. So, But he did say, okay, I'm going to go on and move out of Stiffy's because that's not right or whatever so i'm gonna um i'm gonna go to my dad's and she said oh where we fell in love i can't get over all the me and brooke being with as far as family related i said okay we'll say that where she said where we first saw each other and and fell in love and he first saw each other and all and he was like that's the place but he told her i'm moving out from taylor and stuff um because i do love you i said so what ridge is really saying is i'm gonna decide which one of y'all i want <laughs> that's what i heard I'm gonna decide which one of y'all, which one of you I want, and that's it. And I'm like, what can you say? Moving right along. <laughs> so Taylor and Steffi are talking, and um, Steffi says, "Mom, I'm worried about you." And instead, Taylor admits, "I love Ridge. It's been great having him here." And Steffi says, "There's no way he's going back to Brooke." She said, "I don't. I didn't mean to put doubt in your mind. Seeds of doubt." And Taylor said, "No, it's not you." As soon as he walked out the door, I seeds of doubt were in my mind. And then Steffi said, "But we both agreed he needed to tell Brooke." And she said, "He does." She said, "But you know, I worry what that'll do." And I said, "Ma'am, it ain't gonna do nothing because you finna get rich." I believe Taylor is gonna win this battle, and she's gonna get rich for how long? I don't know. 
But um, so Taylor is just like, you know, I, I, I'm worried about what this is going to do. She said, but at the end of the day, I love him and I want him to do what makes him him happy and Taylor Steffi is just like but see being with us being with his family that is he knows you're solid or whatever and he, he said and she was like and Sheila I mean and Brooke is all over the place like he knows he the happiness and loyalty and trust that he has in you he's not gonna get that with Brooke and I said I want to tell you you're wrong but a part of me can't tell you you you're wrong so that was them. Taylor's just worried that Ridge is gonna um go back to uh Brooke. She has reason to believe to be, and then when they find out he moving into his daddy house, she's gonna have even more reason. So let's move on from here. Then we go to Bill, Liam, and Wyatt, and they're still over there. Bill is still ranting about Ridge. And so Liam, he said, What you doing? And Liam said, Hope is here. Hope is on her way. And he said, Look, Wyatt said, Do we need to leave? And he said, No, y'all good. So Hope comes in and she said, Oh, I didn't know we were going to have this many guests or whatever. And, you know, I didn't know we were going to have company. And he said, Yeah. And, 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 um, Bill, so Bill starts talking about Ridge again and how Ridge is wrong for the way he's treating Taylor. I mean, Taylor and Brooke, um, but especially Brooke, because you know, um, Bill's you know, he has feelings for that. And Liam said, You're forgetting something. Ridge and Brooke, Brooke is madly in love, they are madly in love, and they're he and Hope said together, Destin. He said, Oh, yo, stop it with this Destin stuff. He said, The only thing that's Destin is that they're gonna hurt each other, and that Bridge is gonna leave Taylor. I mean, Brooke, when times get hard, get hard. And he said, And don't forget, she was madly in love with me. And and Lynn was like, Yeah, I ain't forget that, but it ain't the same as what she was, it, it is with Bridge. But Taylor does, I mean, Hope does tell him, I appreciate how you're defending my mom or everything. And even Hope has to say, she's not happy with the way Ridge has handled this situation and everything. Um, but anyways, Bill says his piece and, and whatever. And then Wyatt says, all right, let's go. So they leave. I'm not going to rehash everything that went on because it was the same thing that I told you yesterday. He was just saying the same thing. Only this time he was saying it's a Hope. And so then when they leave, Hope and Liam talk, and she asks him, how do you feel about this? And he said, honestly, he said, you know, I could be cute and say, oh, uh, you know, they're going to be together. He said, but honestly, Ridge ain't been right the way he has handled this. He was like, he's living with Taylor. Like, he's like, I know it's in the guest house, the gatehouse, and you could say, well, he, you know, it's not the same. He said, but... She's over there, and he clearly has feelings for her, but he's also has feelings for Brooke. And you know, as her Brooke's husband, he could have been a little bit more understanding or whatever. And Hope is also agreeing that he could have been more understanding. So now she's like, I just don't want to give up on him and my mom. I'm like, why are you talking? Like, this is Brooke's marriage. What are you talking about? I don't want to give up on them. Like, these kids be killing me. But that was the button. Beautiful, guys. I will see you tomorrow for a new episode. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I'll still be doing these videos even if you don't. But hit that like button. Help me out by hitting that like button. Bye.